My name is Michelle Jeffrey. I'm from Burlington, Vermont, and I've been participating in roller derby since the Green Mountain Derby Dames were founded in late 2007. One of the things that I think people still believe about roller derby, which we were actively trying to change, is that, oh, it's just this staged event where you girls wear, you know, fishnet tights and too much makeup and you have crazy tattoos and you get into fights and you slam each other with chairs. And that's just absolutely not how I learned how to play roller derby. It's actually very against the rules to fight, to elbow, to clothesline. Anything like that is completely against our 45 pages of rules. The sport of roller derby has it comes from that past, and we don't try to deny that past, but we do try to introduce people to what roller derby is today, which is a very aggressive, full contact, women's, primarily women's sport. I think people don't always realize the mental aspect of roller derby that comes in with it. It's not just that I leave my practices and games ment physically exhausted. I leave the games mentally exhausted. I'm completely spent because I've been thinking for two hours straight. I was randomly searching on Craigslist and saw a meeting, said, hey, you know, we're thinking about starting roller derby in Vermont, and we're having a meeting on Friday night at Arthur's house, come on over. And I was one of seven people, and I am the only surviving member <laughs> of the league. two people can have the same name. With so many thousands of people playing roller derby now, you can imagine it's getting harder and harder to find a derby name. Um, I chose mine because I work at Vermont Public Radio, so I work at with VPR and NPR, and decided that my derby name should be Susan Slamberg, um, in honor of Susan Stamberg, who is a very long time NPR reporter who I respect her. People assume that because you have a derby name that you have an alter ego on the track and I have to absolutely dispel that myth because I am the same person on and off the track um, and I'm still very nice despite the fact that I am often trying to beat people up. Pretty much most of my friends at this point are really good friends. <laughs> um, we see a lot of each other um, but we really love it that way. I think uh, my upstairs, my downstairs neighbor is a derby girl. She introduced me to my fiance. I mean that's it's sort of kind of all-encompassing in our lives now. We were really the first roller derby league in Vermont at all, so we had very little outside help. One of the drawbacks to it is, of course, you have to do everything by yourself. Um, roller derby takes up a tremendous amount of time. I spend about six hours a week at practices, um, so it's a lot of work. Um, but I think what everyone realizes is if they commit the time to it, it becomes worth it in the end.